Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can hack Wi-Fi very easily with the Flipper Zero and the Wi-Fi uh, dev board. So let's get into it. Without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So with the Wi-Fi, with the Wi-Fi dev board and your Flipper Zero, you can do things like capture handshakes and deauthenticate people from their network. Let's talk a little bit about uh, capturing handshakes and deauthenticating people from the network. So understanding the Wi-Fi handshake, the Wi-Fi handshake is a four step process that occurs when a device attempts to connect to a secured Wi-Fi network. During this process, the network's access point and the connecting device exchange cryptographic keys to establish a secure connection. The four steps include Number one, the association request. Uh, the device sends a request to join the network. Number two, association response. The network's access point acknowledges the request and provides the device with its encryption capabilities. Number three, the EA poll, also known as the extensible authentication protocol over LAN uh, key exchange. And that is, you know, this step involves the exchange of encryption keys to secure the connection. Number four, we have association confirmation, right? That's the final step. And the final step confirms the successful establishment of a secure connection. So that is capturing handshakes. And now we're going to get into uh, deauthenticate uh, people from their network. Okay. And there's a bunch of things you can do with the Flipper Zero and the Wi-Fi dev board. Just, just to you know. But uh, in regards to, you know, password cracking, handshakes often contain hashed passwords by capturing and analyzing them. Security experts, uh, security experts hmm, can attempt to crack network passwords so let's put that to the side Bam. now let's get into the realm of deauthentication right a deauth or deauthentication attack disrupts connections between users and wi-fi access points the attackers force devices to lose access and then reconnect to a network they control right reconnect to a network that they control there is also uh you know the capability of you can which pr there are probes Right, you can do that on the Wi-Fi uh, with the Flipper Zero probes and um, Rick Roll, but we'll get to that later in this in the show. Uh, before I proceed, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Now let's get into the steps. Step one, the first step, you're gonna wanna download the zip file in the link below this video, right? I'm gonna put the link in the comment section of this video for you to refer to, okay? So there's a link down there. You know what I'm saying? You're going to want to download the zip file uh, in the link below of this video. Step two, you're going to want to download the zip file, connect your Flipper Zero with the Wi-Fi dev board. And then step three, you're going to want to connect the USB-C cord to the Wi-Fi dev board that is connected to the Flipper Zero, right? You're going to want, you're going to, want to have the Wi-Fi dev board and the Flipper Zero connected. And then you're going to put the USB-C into the Wi-Fi dev board, which is on top. And the other end of that USB-C is going to be to your computer. Okay. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So the next step is, you know, again, we talked about the USB-C should be connected to the Wi-Fi dev board that is connected on top of your Flipper Zero and the computer. Step four, you're going to want to, you're going to want to run the flash dot bat file right when you click on that link that i put in the uh, video comment section below there's going to be a flash dot bat file you're going to want to run that file after it's finished running step five you're going to want to uh for the type choice right in that code section for the type choice portion you're going to want to choose one and the reason why you're choosing one because uh you should also see it as a as a, as a selection you're going to want to it should say uh flash marauder to dev board right so now that you ran the file you're going to want to select the option that allows the flash marauder to go on the dev board which we can use in the flipper zero okay hope that makes sense so once you have uh select you know choose one you're going to want to uh, wait one or two uh, minutes depending on your trash laptop connection uh <laughs> uh step six now this is this is the uh, where you know you're gonna want to um after you have selected that and it's finishing running right uh so you're gonna want to open your flipper zero right you can either you know 
uh, I'm pretty sure there are, you know, the Flipper Zero physical or Flipper Zero software. Whatever you're choosing, whatever you're using, whatever the case may be, open the Flipper Zero software or the physical device that you're using, whatever the case is, right? And then you're going to want to toggle, right? Because now that you have implemented and, 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 and put uh, and ran the file and it's, it's been connected to your uh, Flipper Zero, now when you're toggling in, in on the main kind of dashboard kind of thing you should see where it, you should see a uh a an option called wi-fi marauder option right when you're when you're when you're doing that you should see what is called wi-fi marauder option and in wi-fi marauder option uh there's gonna be it's kind of like folders and folders right uh once you open the uh wi-fi marauder option that's when you can see scan ap uh, you know, which, which, and, and, and for those who may not know, scan AP is, you know, scanning access points. It's basically kind of like finding a victim, right? Uh, you can also, you know, once you have done that, uh, step eight, basically it's kind of like once you click, uh, scan AP it's basically just scanning around. It's kind of like looking for Wi-Fi networks, right? Just scanning around. So once you have got that, uh, into effect, once you have gathered the Wi-Fi, you know, things that are in the area, then you're going to want to like under where it says scan AP, there should be like a select AP, which you can now select the APs that have been gathered, the access points, basically Wi-Fi networks around. And then um, once you have done that, uh, you, you can now select this. This is the interesting part. And this is for educational purposes. You guys are not going to say, oh, my God, no, 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 no. This is for educational purposes. You should not do this without the consent of people. You are a you are a nasty hacker that needs to be jailed if you do that kind of stuff. You need consent. And this has to be done for ethical purposes only. So step nine, uh, you can click the attack option. You click the attack option and you could choose the kind of cyber attacks. The D off. We talked about that probe. We're about to talk about that. And the Rick roll. So. It's a whole bunch of kinds of attacks that you can do once you have selected it. Now, let's get into what a probe is and a rickroll. So probes, a probe provides network discovery, monitoring and management services for devices on the private network, leveraging industry standard protocols such as WMI, SNMP and ODBC. A probe is a Windows application that resides on a computer, such as a server, within a customer network behind the firewall or in a private IP space. Every environment in your N enable or N central network, including workgroup, requires uh, a probe. The Rick Roll is a prank cyber attack. It's probably one of the most harmless cyber attacks, and it is associated with this song. You think you're going to click on your desired link, and then you get, never going to give you up. Never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and a hurt you. We've known each other for so long, your heart's been aching but you're too shy to say it, say it, say it. <laughs> <laughs> please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button i appreciate your viewership i, uh, I appreciate you uh, supporting stay safe see you in the next video